Good morning, folks. I was came while I was on the road. Amazon warehouse deals. Came with this spectacular artwork. That's got to be worth, you know, three, four hundred bucks right there. Clearly, it was uh, returned to Amazon. Days will get a cave bar night. <sighs> Looks like it was never used, but it was it may have been taken out of the box, but neither here nor there. My twin force started going out, so this power boost didn't work anymore, so I gave that away to a neighbor. So they at least had a lawnmower. That's a good sized bagger capacity. Another 80 volt charger. I got the single 4 amp hour battery instead of the two 2 amp hour batteries. For one, the 4 amp hour battery works better in the chainsaw. I'll set this off over here. I can tell this is never used by the way the bubble wrap is taped. It's got one bar that battery is going to need to be charged, but no matter. I already have another 4 amp hour battery that's fully charged. place to store the garbage when so if you're outside and it's windy you stuff it in the bagger mower actually has heft to it. That's because it's a steel deck. Get away from my ear, you goofy bees. My ear isn't a flower. I don't mind bees, but when they hang around your ears, you know. Oh, good. Oh, dang it. The bolt went under the box flap. I was worried that this was missing when I saw this. Okay. So the way this threads is like if these knobs come loose, it's almost impossible to 
Ooh, knob. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This part, it'll thread on the first little bit of the way. And then, if you can see, it's all wibbly wobbly until it catches the threads here. I don't know what the tension behind this design was, but I think it's pretty ingenious. So, in case you're not paying attention and one loosens up, you're not going to lose your giant plastic tri nut, wing nut, whatever you want to call it. Push it on, push your quarter inch. This might be the easiest one more to assemble that I've ever assembled. Oh, hey, this one's got uh, boot bearings in it. That's nice, so huh? it's got cheap plastic wheels, but got blue bearings in it. I'll have to get to cooperate. That's how it stores. Bring the camera in. And this has a plastic blade well now I'm backer but that's for cooling the motor the blade is a bit a little bit thicker than the one on the twin force but not a whole lot you can see that more is perfectly clean these I don't know what these are I've never seen anything on this feature Maybe that's to help uh, make the grass stand up. I don't know. So it can cut better. And we'll see. It's got the plug in for the mulching plug. It gets shoved in from uh, the bagger. Let me go get the battery and uh, get this thing going. do this. Sounds like a real lawnmower. This is this is even quieter than the twin force. I thought that was quiet. I love it, starts every time. I'd like it if it shut off a little faster. This has three handlebar height adjustments, which I like. And my beef with the uh, twin force, no handlebar height. So I haven't. What that means is that the higher the bar height, the less strain it is on your back when you're taller. This might be a little high for me, but I like it. It's easier to push. I love how it sounds. It sounds like an old lawn boy from the 80s, you know, if you remember those. Well, those of you old enough to remember it.
really think of this mower? Cut spirits quality to enforce in every way. Even when that to enforce is running properly, uh, you know, with the power boost, it did not do the cut quality this did. It may have mulched better, but I haven't had a chance to really do any mulching. And it's July 5th, people are going by, so don't worry if you hear any talking in the back room, but it's almost as easy to push. I love the sound it makes. Like I said, uh, it makes that lawn boy type sound from like the 80s, 90s, and when they ran two cycles. So it sounds like a muffled one of those. I love the sound. It sound. I don't know how they did it, or if it's even intentional. It sounds just like a regular lawnmower, you know, like the lawn boys did. Not a four stroke, but definitely a, a muffled two cycle. Yeah, I love the height adjustable handlebars. Uh, that is not a feature that was uh, promoted in the, uh, the Greenworks website. So Greenworks, if you're listening, promote the height adjustment features on these things. Uh, unless I miss something, you know, point that out to me in case I miss something. And it seems easier to uh, tell where you mowed. It might be the time of day or the dew or the weight of it. Presses the grass down a little more. Probably weighs 20 pounds more than that twin force. So that, that could be it. Uh, easier to, yeah. And, and that alone helps the cut quality too. Is that the extra weight bends the grass down more, I think. Yeah. Overall, you know, I, I bought that twin force used for once so I never knew how it was treated uh, but base if I would have borrowed uh, one of these I know someone that has one that's a few couple years old now two three years old almost when they first came out with them I think I can't remember but I'd have to ask them I would have went straight to this one I wouldn't have messed around with anything else but at the time I don't think I could I could afford a brand new one so that's why I bought the used twin force and this one is worth so far every penny of it. I already had, had a 2 amp hour battery when I got my chainsaw. I bought an extra 4 amp hour battery. This battery, oh well, actually the one on the steps I didn't charge that yet. This is the one I bought a battery I bought extra. I have plenty where I could do several of these lawns. I figured I could probably do this yard, this little postage stamp four times on a charge, never have to go get gas. That's the main thing, uh, especially if you can't get out a whole lot or town is far away, you can go with battery power and you don't have to run to town so much for gasoline or store so much and risk it going bad unless you're using a lot of it. And the mowing height is seems to be set right. All the good sound, like I said, all the good, all the right sounds. Definitely worth it. I definitely recommend it just based on a few minutes. I don't have the tall, thick grass like you see in some videos, but it's doing a way superior job in this thin grass. So if you're wondering which mower does better on thinner grass where it isn't as densely packed, like in a regular soil, because this is, if you're watching this for the first time, this is all sandy ground. So it takes forever for grass to get established and then it doesn't grow in too thick. And it dies off easily because there's a dead spot where the trailer was moved from in the last video. Yeah, it de definitely go with straight to the 80 volt. Like I said, unless you've got a bunch of 40 volt batteries, don't really bother go straight to this one. But here's where you want to keep the maybe stick with the 40 volt if you're just starting out maybe you know, the uh, 40 volt weed trimmer is a lot lighter because these batteries are very heavy if you go with the 80 volt weed trimmer stick with the 2 amp hour in there other than that I'm going to get back to mowing before it gets too bloody hot when I started this video it's like 78 degrees uh, dew point of 70 so it's it's a bit brutal so until next time folks Take care and get out there and build or mow something.